I want to read off a testimony and it is from No Greater Love. At the end of this video, I may have some type of link on the video that is going to lead you to his channel. And I may even place his details in the comment section of this video. Okay. Hi, brothers and sisters. This is my testimony from being an agnostic to an atheist, then to new age to Jesus Christ. When I was 19, I wanted to determine if I was really atheist or not, and if there was more to this life than meets the eye. I wanted to determine this because I had one solid experience of seeing a white silhouette ghost in broad daylight when I was 13 years old. I had brushed it off and forget about it until I was 19. Basically, I started looking for truth and answers in this life. I was trying many different free spirituality type teachings out there, but it was when I signed up at this demon summoning website and gave them my name. Ever since that, ever since I gave them my name, this demon spirit have been touching me and annoying me. Yes, it's very shocking and eye-opening. It also made me realize that these things would purposely be touching my third eye and even my solar plexus. The very next day after signing up at that demonic website, around that time period, that is when I first felt that demon fluctuating and hovering over me. I was shocked. I remember how shocked I was. My reaction in my head was like this. Of course, spirits exist. How the heck did I not believe that before? They lie to you. Like a light bulb went on in my head. This was so very real, tangible, and even demonstrable to myself at the least. And that first time it touched me and revealed itself to me. I remember I wasn't even thinking about that website at all. I was just laying, lying in my bed on my laptop as usual after work. I started feeling those slight sensations coming from my feet up to my legs. It became more and more apparent stronger fluctuations continuing up my legs and unto my private part. It was a succubus spirit. That is what that website indicated. I was so amazed that something was fully messing with me and honestly, it felt really good. This spirit could give me an erection 
unlike any other. It was supernatural. I tested it many times. I would do math in my head. When I felt it come unto me, but that would not stop the spirit from molesting me that first week. That first week or so, I had dreams I never had before in my life. Vivid dreams of many spider-like things, witchcraft. Dreams of succubi, even a dream of this preacher guy placing his hand on my head. Then I collapsed to the floor so quickly. I didn't know what happened. That part of the dream was incredible. Short though. I was just there. Then the next second I was on the floor. And then the dream switched to some weird guy or aura teaching me like some spirit guru, so to speak. Because that's what I was interested in at that time. Third eye, chakras, and all that stuff. The interesting thing is, I didn't even think of Jesus at first. When all this was happening to me, in fact, I didn't even really think of having this demon spirit around me as bad as it is. Because at that time, I thought it was the most interesting thing having some type of spirit guide with me. A little overwhelming, but I ignored that. I chose not to think of it as a demon, but mostly because I didn't have a solution to get rid of it as well. But I knew this thing didn't care for me at all. All it did was take energy from me and instill lust into me. And after a few weeks of this, videos of Jesus Christ and things like that would pop up. And I remember how much I hated the guy in the video. I would say nasty things to that person or I would say nasty things until I ran into this guy's testimony. The same guy I thought was a strict person, I guess, and who I thought was ruining, ruining people's lives and so he had a huge part in opening up my eyes because he explained about demons and the third eye and how all those spiritual teachings are of Satan. And it made 100% sense. I couldn't believe it because I never would have thought I would ever waste my time on religion. But little did I know that it was actually Jesus who I was searching for all this time. I can literally say that a few days later, it literally felt like Jesus was calling me. The words he spoke in the Bible for the first time had struck my heart and I knew that Jesus was who he said he was. I know how that sounds, but I'm serious. 
there is a true religion and I'm 100% sure that it's Christianity. We don't take anything out of this life when we die. So I would rather tell people or everyone the truth and let them think what they like. But Jesus is Lord and he died for all of our sins. He defeated death and hell. He reigns forevermore. Glory to God. So this is the end of his testimony. I pray that it helps you. God bless.